Oh crap, that's kind of zoomed in. Oh well, that's all I can do. Anyways, uh, <coughs> this is the Vox on the dark channel. And uh, to me, if you uh, throw the, the master volume all the way to, to 12, and then your uh, regular uh, pre volume at, I don't know, uh, 9 o'clock, which would be like 3 and throw some treble up and a little bit of middle and uh, bass uh, this is what you get and to me it's kind of like a uh, blackface fender sound and that was with my neck pickup bring it back oh and I do have the the reverb also on I don't know maybe eight eight o'clock maybe nine and uh it's that uh, digital reverb, but it actually sounds pretty good. I think it's a plate reverb But uh, I'm gonna keep it on the bridge real quick and throw a little OD on it and uh, This is what it sounds like position it still sounds good to me but yeah and keeping keeping with the neck oh I think I've got the boost on hold on I did that was with the mid boost. Sorry about that. I didn't know I had the mid boost on, but so that's it without the mid boost. And the mid boost really just gives it a chunky, you know, ballsy sound to me, anyways. to the bridge I, actually with this guitar it actually sounds good in the middle position too uh, it's not too muddy and to me a lot of the middle positions I don't know I get get a lot of mud but with these these all Nico fives that they've got in this uh, guitar it's really not muddy at all it sounds good One thing with the Vox I will say is, is uh, I mean it really, as far as the, what's the word I'm looking for, um, it's very, oh gosh, I can't even think, um, as far as the amount of pick, you know, the intensity that I put in with a pick, it really, it's pick sensitive that's kind of what I'm looking for it's very sensitive to uh, the amount that you put on the pick anyways If I don't use a pick or anything and a finger pick with this, 
with it in these you know in these settings it just position. I normally would finger pick with the with uh with it in the neck. I just like finger picking with the neck. But anyways, I mean man this uh this Vox is so versatile. And just really really quick I take it out of the dark mode. And to me, you get like a uh, a Fender reverbish uh, sound out of it. It's a little bit, and maybe that's where the Vox is coming in, because you're getting a little bit more of the the treble and the highs. <laughs> That is not the bridge, and you, you can hear them. And you can really hear the, the highs coming through and throwing it on the, on the bridge. To me, you get a lot more of the telly sound. Even, I mean, even though it's a humbucker and all, I, I still think that you're kind of getting that telly bridge sound out of that. And if I throw a little bit of... Uh, drive on it with it still in the bridge But anyways, uh, it's very versatile, and I like, uh, I actually like the uh, the dark mode because I'm a, I like bass, man, uh, I guess. I, I just don't like that high, that high treble when I'm just playing uh, clean. I just, I like a thick. When, uh. When I'm playing in the neck and all in the clean, I I really really like that uh, that thickness that, that I can get out of it with that dark channel. But but yeah, man, and and that's just what me screwing around with two li two different things. Uh, it's really blowing me away as how versatile and it's like how many amp sounds can I get out of this one freaking amp. But uh, anyways, I know this is really really long, and I'll uh, I'll let you go. But uh, I apparently my messenger is not working, so I'm just throwing it on YouTube. But anywho, thanks man, I'll talk to you later.